Love's character, it was it's actually quite a tricky character. You know, rich brat, and then he, he, on the face of it, actually, looks like he is just a villain. Okay, but that's not true. He is a villain with a lot of other shades. His role, na, is actually I think the trickiest role. Cross dressing, you know, getting drugged, getting beaten up by women, getting uh, thrown on the road. So I was worried that who's going to play this character? This character gets bajaoed through the film. Yeah, uh, love, uh, Taha. Sorry, when I saw his audition, you know. I thought he did a really good job. He really did a good job. He was extremely intense, and I remember seeing Taha's audition after I saw Shraddha's audition. Like in a gap of a couple of days, and so I first let myself live with Shraddha and how she was portraying Rhea. And then when I saw Taha, I thought they were a really great fit because one came across on the auditions as really being laid back, easy going, flirtatious to a point, while the other one came back as someone who is intense, who will be a little aware of his surroundings. So I thought the match was great, even for the characters. I thought the match was really great, and I went for another walk with Taha also similarly. Same coffee shop, sat down, and I thought that his accent—he's from Dubai, so I thought that accent was really gonna play well for the character. You know, it adds that slight element of being a wannabe. Within 30 seconds of the conversation, I started actually shitting bricks. I asked Taha, Taha, what do you like doing? I like acting. What besides that do you like doing? I like watching myself act. Okay, what do you wanna be? An actor. I said, yeah, obviously I know that, but there must be something else. Okay, I'm trying to get to know you so that I can put those things in the character seamlessly. Okay, but he was taking some diction classes, and I said, okay, say something from your diction class. Let me hear what kind of Hindi you speak. He started giving some random dialogue about Zille Elahi, something, something. It's like a menu from Delhi Darbar. I said, oh, f I am in so much of trouble if this is the Hindi this kid is picking up. And I thought, okay, I need to really work on this with Taha. I need to sit with him and talk. Good-looking boy, very fit. It's like a cross between Shah Rukh Khan and John Abraham. He's like John Abraham who took too many steroids and then suddenly grew shorter. Okay, like shit load shorter. He talks like Shah Rukh Khan, so I call him Maruk. He was like, make notes, yeah, on the script. And the rest of the kids used to be, uh, what page, um, what this thing are we reading? And I love that because that's very me. Okay, but the he used to be like, I have made this note, Bumpy. Would you like to see it? I said of course, and after a point, I started understanding the way he works. He started understanding the way I work. I think he's really nailed the part. He's made the film his own. There were times when I had to constantly pull him back, saying, "Ki Maruk, chup rahe." On that button song, that guy shot the whole day, seriously high intensity, and then in the night started doing these martial art kicks because we wanted some cutaways here. And he's been a real sport. And there were times because of sometimes because of our own mismanagement and sometimes because of natural delays, you know, that he'd come in. Uh, at about nine at night or eight at night, and stay till about five in the morning to give that one shot. But he's been very accommodating, and he's been a sport. He's definitely going to get noticed. And seriously, hats off to Taha, man. I think he's somewhere. He's made the film definitely his. His characters come out really well. I think Taha has totally nailed it. Eventually, I think Taha really nailed it.